Okay, welcome back to 5 Minute Lessons. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the methods and problems of measuring business size. We'll be covering methods of measuring business size, the number of people employed, value of output, capital employed, and the limitations of methods of measuring business size. So this will be a quick lesson. Who would find it useful comparing the size of businesses? Investors, governments, competitors, employees, and banks. Firstly, investors will find it useful to compare the size of businesses. They use this information when deciding which company to invest their money in. Investors look at a company's financial performance, growth potential and market share to determine whether it's a good investment or not. Comparing the size of businesses can help investors make informed decisions about where to put their money. Secondly, governments would find it useful to compare the size of businesses. They use this information when deciding on taxes, grants and other concessions. Governments can offer tax breaks or financial support to smaller businesses to help them grow and create jobs. Comparing the size of businesses can help governments determine which businesses are eligible for these benefits. Thirdly, competitors would find it useful to compare the size of businesses. They use this information to see how well they are faring against their competition. Comparing the size of businesses can help competitors identify areas where they need to improve and where they can gain a competitive advantage. Fourthly, employees would find it useful to compare the size of businesses. They use this information to see the business they will be joining. Comparing the size of businesses can give employees an idea of the company's culture, growth potential and opportunities for career advancement. <laughs> Lastly, banks would find it useful to compare the size of businesses. They use this information to determine whether they should give out a loan or not. Banks typically look at a company's financial statements, credit score and market position when making lending decisions. Comparing the size of businesses can help banks assess the risk of lending to a particular business. OK, so we're now looking at methods of measuring and comparing business sizes. The first method is number of employees. This is fairly straightforward. We're just measuring the amount of employees that business employs. Um, and the second one is value of capital employed. OK, so this is uh, the amount invested um, by businesses and, that, and the amount that they produce from that investment. So the value of capital employed is basically your current assets and non-current assets together. Um, limitations of these two first ones is that some firms are capital intensive. They employ very few people but produce high levels of output. Um, and a limitation for the first one, number of employees, is do we count two part-time workers as one employee or two? All right, so you've got a part-time worker that's doing 50%, another part-time worker doing another 50%. Do we count them as two workers, two employees, or one? Let's move on to value of output now. So this is the amount that a business actually produces. Um, and this is mainly uh, prevalent in manufacturing industries, okay, where they're producing a lot of goods. So um, a limitation of this is a small firm may produce high-valued or expensive items. So you can't really directly compare two businesses. It depends on what they're actually producing and the value of those items. Um, we've got value of sales as well. This is often used when comparing the size of retailing businesses, especially retailers selling similar products, for example, supermarkets. Um, but the limitation of this is that it's difficult to use when comparing businesses that sell different items, for example, sweets or a confectionery business um, and another business selling luxury items. OK, so that's the end of that lesson. That's a very short one, less than five minutes. Um, good luck with your exams. Any questions, write them in the comments. Please subscribe and follow. Thanks.